snow all across the Northland, and we start at the Igloo. It's a middle-seeded Section 7 AAA matchup between the fourth-ranked Esco hosting the fifth-ranked Hibbing Blue Jackets. And we start early in the first. Graham Hartley, a big part of the Esco offense, but he's stopped here on a short game, and everything seems normal. But that's Samuel Blevins coming up with something sweeter than honey. It's the football, and Hibbing takes over at midfield. However, that drive would end on one of three first-half interceptions by the Esco defense, which sets up an Easton Harker pass to Brody Lillo on the short route, and he finishes the rest. After the two-point conversion, Esco takes an 8-0 lead. And then we hop over one touchdown drive later for Esco to find Graham Hartlieb receiving the Hibbing punt. He makes the first defender miss, then bounces it outside with a lot of green space ahead of him thanks to great blocking by the boys in front. There's only one white jersey left to worry about, and he makes sure that jersey needs a wash. He scores from 90 yards out, his second touchdown of the game. He might as well run all the way to Pequot Lakes as they defeat Hibbing 22-6 and advance to the Section AAA semifinals on Saturday. Over to Denfeld now, where Cloquet comes in with a 2-6 record trying to play spoiler, but those Hunters, they're 5-3 with a home field advantage tonight. And they're already up 7-0. If anyone at home is wondering what working late night on a Tuesday feels like, receiver Kalija Thomas runs over the defender for a nice 35-yard game. Hunters still up a score in the second quarter, but they fumble the ball right on that one-yard line. Cloquet takes over, but the only bad thing about that is now you have to run a play from the one-yard line. Denfeld's Tyrell Manns forces the safety, gives the Hunters a nine-point lead. And then the Hunters go to what got them into the playoffs. That star running back, Tay Manns, ripping off a 37-yard touchdown strike. Denfeld goes up by 15, and on the very next drive, I promise you this is a different clip, Mans again right up the gut for 41 yards and the score. He had three first half touchdowns. The Hunters take down the Lumberjacks by a final score of 28 to 20. And they take on the Hermantown Hawks on Saturday in a rematch of last year's section finals. And elsewhere across Minnesota in the nine man ranks, that's no typo. MIB won 91 to nothing, while second ranked Cherry also advances to the next round with a 44 to 8 victory. The Barnum Bombers also victorious tonight with a 45 to 14 win over the Jaguars. And their rivals, the Moose Lake Willow River Rebels, also advancing with a 48 to 28 win over Greenway Nashua Kiwanton. The Grand Rapids Thunderhawks took down the Rockridge Wolverines tonight by a final score of 41 to 6, and the Chisholm Blue Streaks defeated the Southridge Panthers 14 to 12. For all of those scores, head over to northernnewsnow.com. And still to come, the UMD volleyball team still 